Okay, is it is it clear? My screen is visible for you. Yes. Okay. Okay, listen, my dear. Listen here. What is given in this question? Particle one of charge six micro coulomb. So that means my charge one has the value of six micro coulomb. My charge two has the value of minus two micro coulomb. And both are separate by a distance. Both are separate by a distance yeah. L. So that means this is the L value, which is between these two charges, which is 10 centimeter. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Now, what you are going to do, you are going to take the third charge, whether it is positive or negative, don't worry about that because you will get the same answer. So here, you have three location. What is the first location? The first loca location is left hand side of Q1. That means this is my first location. Clear? The second location in between two charges. My third location is right hand side of charge 2. Clear? Clear? Clear. Okay, now Again, what you have to do, you have to place this third charge in one place out of these three location exactly it will be matched in only one location so when you place this third charge what you have to do the charge on the first with three which is equal to the charge on the second on three if both will be exactly same then the electrostatic force between these two will be exactly zero so we have to bring this condition clear 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 yes Okay, uh, now, please, now, please, when you listen please. carefully, this charge is a positive charge. I am going to take my uh, third doctor, charge. Yes. Uh, can you repeat this point for uh, zero? Okay, my dear, listen carefully. I have two charges which is already given in the picture. Am I right? Yes. We are going to take the third charge which is given here. You can see we are going to take the third charge which is unknown. And I am going to place this charge in the x-axis. When I place this charge in the x-axis, what you have to do? What is the interaction of charge 1 on 3? What is the interaction of charge 2 on 3? Clear? Clear. When both yes. will be exactly equal, you can easily achieve this condition. Clear? Clear. So you have three locations. Location 1. Location 2, location 3. First of all, you must know which location is exactly perfect for achieving this condition. So now I need the answer from your side. My dear, first of all, I am going to choose the location 1. Let's be check with location 1. So I place the third charge Q here. My third charge, I am going to take positive charge. What is the interaction of positive on positive? So because you have to see what is the interaction between Q1 and Q3. What is the interaction between Q and Q2? Both are positive. What will happen? They will uh, go away from each other. Ah, go hard. away. But your, your, your Q1 is a positive, big charge. So that means your force of repulsion will be greater. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So my force yes. 1 on 3 will be in the left hand side because of both charges is positive my charge q1 will ripple charge q3 with very high fast that means it will be pushing very high fast that means the force will be greater now likewise you have to see what is the interaction of two on three my second charge is the negative my third charge is the positive and the distance between q3 and q2 is greater so what type of force it will be get, whether attraction or repulsion? Repulsion. My dear, my third charge is positive, my second charge is negative. What it will get? Attracting or repulsion? Repulsing. Attracting, but, but what is the distance? The distance is greater. When the distance is greater, what happened? The force of attraction will be weaker. Am I right? Yes. Yes. So my arrow mark will be very smaller. Am I right or not? Yes. yes. So, my dear, is this condition is exactly same here? Because my left hand side arrow is greater, my right hand side arrow is smaller. Is it correct to achieve this condition? No, doctor. Yes. So, this location will not work. Clear? 
Yes. Okay. Let's we come come for the second location. So I am going to place the second char third charge in between two charges. Now, my dear, listen carefully. What is the interaction of charge one on three? What is the charge interaction of charge one on three? What will happen? They will, they will go away. Uh, they no, will no, ripple no, with very fast. high cost. Am I right? Yes. So this is force one on three. Am I right? Okay. What is the interaction of three on two? It will be close from each other. It will be attract. So both arrow will be exactly in the same direction. If both arrow will be exactly in the same direction, is it possible to get this condition? No. No. So this location is also not working. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes my dear. How one and three will be gone to the right? My dear, this is positive charge. My third charge is positive. Am I right? My first yes. charge is positive. So it will be ripple. So this will be like this. Am I right? Yes. Now you can see the charge three and two. My charge two is negative. My charge three is positive. So it will be attract in this direction. Am I right? Yes. Clear. If both arrows are in the same direction, is it possible to, pos possible to achieve this condition? No. So this location will not work. Am I right? Yes, but I mean, how uh, we decide the direction? My dear, attraction. Which direction this will attract? Q3 is the small and Q1 because both are attracting. Which direction it will be attract? This charge will be attract in this direction. Am I right? Am I right or not? Yes, yes, Victor. Because your Q2 and Q1 are the greater charge. Your Q3 is the very small charge. We don't know what is the value. I assume, I assumed it is a very small charge. Which one will attract, my dear? The greater will attract the smaller one. Am I right or not? Yes. Ah, the concept. I am using the same concept here. Clear? Yes, doctor. Okay. Now let's we come for the third location. This is our third location. Am I right? Now, what is the interaction of one on three? Both are positive. So my positive charge will repel this. Am I right? Am I right yes. or not? Yes. What is the interaction of two on three? It will attract in this direction. Am I right? Yes. So yes. this is F23, this is F13. So my condition is exactly same. You can see the right hand side arrow length is exactly same like the left hand side arrow. A. Am I right? Yes, yes. So this location exactly placed. My dear, the second important thing, we know the distance between charge one and two, but what is this distance? We don't know. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, I think. Yes, yes, you are right. So I am going to take this is the unknown. We I am going to take this is as L zero. Okay, because we have to find what is this L zero. Now by assuming this picture, what we are going to find, we are going to find what is our x coordinate and y coordinate of this third charge. My third charge is exactly sitting in the x axis. So what is the y coordinate, my dear? What is the y coordinate? Zero. What is our x coordinate? Uh, uh, ten, ten. L plus L naught. Am I right? Yes. Once you know the value of L naught, you can easily find the x coordinate. Am I right or not? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to take this condition because this condition is exactly placed here. This condition is exactly placed. I am going to use this condition. My dear, listen carefully. What is our condition, my dear? F one on three, which is exactly equal to F two on three. Am I right? Yes. Could you please apply Coulomb's law for these two charges? K magnitude of Q one magnitude of Q three 
divided by what is the distance between charge 1 and 3 what is the distance between charge 1 and 3 my dear l plus l not very good so the distance between charge 1 and 3 is nothing but l plus l not the whole square am i right yes likewise let's we apply the coulomb's law for this k q2 q3 divided by what is the distance between charge 2 and 3 l not l not very good so i have to take l not here that means l not square now i can cancel this k i can cancel this k i can cancel this q3 i can cancel this q3 what i am what what is the remaining thing the remaining thing is q1 magnitude over l plus l not the whole square which is equal to q2 magnitude l not square now what i am going to do i am going to separate l one side i am going to move the charge to other side so how i will get my dear i can just move like this am i right so q1 over q2 which is equal to l plus l not the whole square which is equal to l not square am i right yes okay now what is the value of q1 it's a 6 micro coulomb which is already given in the question you can see the value of 6 the first charge is 6 micro coulomb the second charge is 2 micro coulomb so i am going to substitute the value here what is the value of q1 6 micro coulomb and the second one magnitude of q2 it's negative so if you take the magnitude it is positive am i right which is yeah. equal to l plus l not the whole square divided by l not square now this micro coulomb micro coulomb get cancelled and this becomes 3 am i right am i right or not so 3 which is equal to l plus l not the whole square divided by l not square now what i am going to do i am going to take the square root on both sides i am going to take the square root on both sides if you take the square root on both sides what you will get my dear this becomes root 3 this becomes l plus l not the whole square divided by l not square am i right yes so if you take square root here your equation becomes like this am i right or not this becomes square will go on so this term will be like this and the bottom will be like this am i right yes so what is remaining so q3 that means root 3 l over l not i can write like this and l not plus l not one am i right yes if you move this plus one to the left hand side what you will get my dear minus one am i right and right hand side l over l not am i right yes so we are going to find the value of l not so i am going to rearrange this equation in terms of l not l not which is equal to l over square root of 3 minus 1 am i right yes now what is the value of l which is already given in the question my l value is 10 centimeter divided by square root of 3 minus 1 which gives you the value of 13.66 something now yes. my l not value is this I can just round it this value as lecture. I use the calculator di directly. Uh, yes, you can yes. use the you can use it directly, no issue. Yes. You can use it directly, no issue. But you can see when you when you just use this value, I will get this, so I can just round it because we are going to find the value of x coordinate. Am I right or not? Yes, yes. The same so answer. what is our x coordinate? L plus L naught. We already know the value of L as 10. What is our L naught? Just before we find, what is the value? Uh, 10. 14. The L value is 10. What is the value of L naught? Uh, 14. 14. Therefore, my X value is? 24. So, the answer for this question, my X coordinate is 24 centimeter. My Y coordinate is exactly? Okay. 
clear so clear. why i just explain my dear if you want to solve this question if you want to solve this question first of all you have to analyze this picture you have three location our our third location is exactly matched to achieve this condition that's what we prefer this if you choose the this location and the second location you will never get the answer clear clear yes okay let's we go for the remaining question the remaining questions are very easy my dear now i need the answer from your side just read the third question it's very easy as the cat rubs its back on the carpet generally the, the cat you, because many of the students you have the cat in your house am i right am i right or not no yes yes ah okay whatever no. it may be the cat has cat has a hair on his body am i right it has dense hair am i right yes what is the nature of the hair it will lose the electron am i right yes but that's it ah it will lose the electron it will gain positive so now when the cat rubs its back on the carpet it acquires positive charge so how much charge it acquires my dear my net charge the cat acquires is exactly plus 8.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 7 coulombs and now how many electrons it lose we don't know so we know the relation net charge which is equal to n multiplied by e am i right am i right or not yes therefore n yes, which yes. is equal to my net charge divided by my elementary charge so my net charge is given in the question 8.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 7 divided by my charge is nothing but 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 19 when you just use your calculator you will get the number and that number indicates the number of electron the cat lose clear uh doctor why we said yeah, yeah. uh, doctor e is constant he is a constant it will be given so don't worry uh doctor why we said loss in the beginning why where 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 Cut him off, okay, so okay. Plus, on the question. What okay. is given in the question? What is given in the question? Okay. My dear, the cat hair will lose the electron. It will be gained the positive. Clear? Yes. So when the cat will rub its back on the carpet, it will lose the electron to the carpet. It will gain positive to its body. Doctor, it's minus. Which one is minus? It's minus seven. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, here. Uh, but anyhow, you will get the number in positive. Some integer only you will get. You will never get the negative value. Do you get my point? Because when this negative will go, negative 19 go to the top, it will be a big number. Am I right? Am I right or not? Yes. Yes. This yes. value is given. So when you substitute, it's a very easiest question. Directly substitute the value in the formula, get the answer. Understand? What about the the units? Moles? Uh, no unit. Is there any unit no. for the number? No. Uh, so leave it. Clear? Clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's we come for our fourth question. It's very easiest question. First of all, please try to understand what is given in the question. Now you can read. The magnitude of the electrostatic force between point charges. How many charges you have, my dear? I have two charges. What are they? Q1. I have Q2. Clear? And this charge is 26 microcoulomb. And this charge is 47 microcoulomb. Clear? And initially, it acquires this much of force. So that means these two charges have some distance am i right am i right or not yes so that means my initial distance we don't know but the force they give what is the value of the force 5.7 okay now in the second part of the question you change the separation that means if you just come for the separation how much force you after you separate these two charges how much force you got yeah, that's force, what uh, I said. so now which which force is greater by dear this force is greater or this force is greater first one 
one. So first one is greater, the second one is smaller. My dear, if you want to get the lower force, that means your distance is increasing. Am I right? Yes. So that means my Q1 is here, my Q2 is here. Am I right? So my distance change, after the distance change, what is my final force? My final force is this much. And what is my final separation? We don't know. Am I right? Am I right or not? Yes, you are right. Yes. Okay. Now, what is our first question? We are going to find what is the ratio between the new separation and the initial separation. What is our new separation? RF is the new separation. Our initial separation is RI. Am I right? Yes. So we have to find the ratio of final separation over initial separation we are going to find. So what I am going to do, first of all I am going to apply the Coulomb's law for this case and second I am going to apply the Coulomb's law for this case. I am going to equate. So my dear, I need the answer from your side. Could you please tell me the answer? If you apply Coulomb's law here, what is your answer my dear? You can just tell me the answer. My initial force, my initial force yes. which is equal to K magnitude of Q1 over magnitude of Q2 divided by Ri square. Am I right? Yes. Likewise, could you please apply the same thing here? My final force, which is equal to K magnitude of Q1, magnitude of Q2, but what is my final separation? R of square. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Could you please rearrange this equation in terms of Ri square and R of square? So my root, equation becomes uh, R root. It will be coming like this. Am I right? Yes. And, and this becomes R of square K Q1 Q2 over R, sorry, F, F. Am I right? So now I am going to take this is my first equation. I am going to take this is my second equation. Clear? Clear? Yes. Uh, yes. Now I am going to divide the second equation by first equation. If you divide what you will get my dear left hand side divided by the left hand side of the first equation. So what you will get Rf square divided by Ri square. Am I right? Am yeah. I right? And then you, this term, can, can this term explain? my dear you rearrange this equation in terms of like this. Am I right? Okay. Am I right? Then I am going to name this is my first equation. This is my second equation. Okay. Okay. I am going to divide the second equation by the first equation. So first of all, I am going to divide the left hand side with the first one and then right hand side with the first one. Clear? Mm -hmm. So what you will get? Your equation will be coming like this. Am I right? K Q1 Q2 over final force divided by K Q1 Q2 divided by initial force. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can see this term get cancelled. Am I right or not? Yes. So what is remaining? My R of square over R I square, which is equal to my initial over final. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Am I right or not? Mathematical yes. rule. Now, what is the value of our initial force? My initial force is 5.7 Newton. My final force is 0 0.57 Newton. And here I have R of square over R I square. And when you just divide this, what you will get, my dear? My R of square over R I square, which is equal to 10. Am I right? Am I right or not? Yes, correct. Now, if you take square root on both sides, you will get the answer for the first question. Clear? Okay, then what? That is the answer for the first question. You can see what is given in the first question. What is the ratio? So we have to find the value of Ri, Rf over Ri. We exactly got the answer here. Clear? Yes. Clear? Yes. Okay, what is our second question, my dear? What is our second question? Read the second question. What is the second question? Value separation. 
ah what is the new separation that means we have to find r of value r of is the new separation am i right mm -hmm. so for the b part for the b part i am going to use only second equation only second equation so i am going to take this equation r f square which is equal to k q1 over q2 divided by my final force now what is the value of k my dear it's a constant it will be given so 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 and what is our q1 value q1 value is given as 26 and q2 value is given as 47 microcoulomb so 26 microcoulomb here 26 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 and this one is 47 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 and what is the force here 0 0.57 am i right am i right or not yes now substitute the value you will get r of square am i right am i right okay now after you find we just need only r of so what you have to do you have to take square root of r of am i right which gives the value so square root of r of square gives you the value of r of am i right clear yes understand that's the one question uh, how did you remove the square root uh, of or uh, okay never mind which one which one never mind i just saw it and i understood my dear, here our equation in terms of r of square. Once you get the yeah. answer, the answer will be in meter square. Now take square root on both left hand side and the right hand side. Clear? Yes. So you will get the answer. Better I can see what is the answer. Just a minute. 13.8. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can see the answer here. So I got 19.295. Am I right? So I got 19 point, I got here 19.295. So if you want to get the answer of R of square, what you have to do? You have to take the value of square root of 19.295. You will get the answer as 4.39. Clear? Clear? That's clear, Dr. By the calculator, oh. easy. What is the calculator? Yes, I get it. The, please, my dear, when you use the calculator, please work out very carefully. Okay. Most of the students, you are losing them. You are losing your marks because of the calculation. You know, last week I conducted the, the practical class of Charles La. You don't know how to calculate the delta V. Delta V formula is given. Most of some students, you lose the marks because of the calculation. Clear. When you use the calculator, please work out very carefully. Understand, my dear? Yes, Dr. Can, can I take, take a practice. picture for the doctor? Can you go to? Which one? Which one? This uh, question. You mean, uh, you mean you need this one? Yeah. My handwriting is very worst, my dear. No problem. You can take. I have no issue. Victor? Yes. Uh, according to the second question, is that question okay. uh, put okay, as the midterm and final, or is it just theoretical concept? Uh, actually, that question has both information. Theoretical information is also there, numerical information also there. So, my dear, suppose if we ask the question, please work out very carefully. Okay. Oh, okay. So, My dear uh, Mr. Hassan, I think this is Hassan. Am I right? Exactly. Yes, Hassan. Okay, Mr. Hassan. Actually, I can directly give the explanation about the third location. Understand? But yes. for the understanding purpose, initially I explained from location one, two, and then three because you know what is the outline of this question. Understand? Yes, I get you. Thank you. Because only the third location I can directly solve. I can give the direct answer. But as a teacher point of view, I should explain what you if you if you put the third charge in location one and two clear clear uh, so in yeah. the exam in the exam you no need to explain all this picture just directly put the charge in the third location apply the rule get the answer okay. uh, doctor uh, what do you want uh, in the last one 
he, he need the, the final distance or uh, initial? Which one? In this question? Yes. What they given the question? Read the question. Read the question. What is this? Okay. That means new separation new, is R F. Uh, distance. Okay. Now this is new separation. Am I right? This one is initial. Okay. Clear. Clear. Yes. Ah. Okay, the last question, it's a very easiest question. I need the answer from your side. Still, we have only one formula left, am I right? What is the formula, my dear? Current I is equal to Q over T, am I right? Yes. Okay, we are going to use this. Read the question. Very easiest question. It's dead easy question. In a written stroke of typical lightning, so lightning occurs. When the lightning occurs, because lightning have the current, am I right? When the lightning occurs, how much current it exists? How much current it produce? 2.8. 2.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 ampere. And it this current exists for how long? Uh, 20 microseconds. 20 micro, 20 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6 seconds. Am I right? Now, what you are going to find? Uh, the charge Q charge so when the lightning occurs it have the current of 2.6 2.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 ampere and this current exists for 20 microsecond so during this event how much of charge is transferred so what we are going to find we are going to find the value of q understand yes so i am going to use this rule we are going to find the value of q therefore q which is equal to I multiply by T, am I right? Yes. What is I? 2.8 multiply by 10 to the power of 4. And what is our time? Our time is 20 microsecond. That means 20 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6. So you will get the answer. The unit for the charge is Coulomb. Understand? Yes. That's it. Chapter over, my dear. Chapter 26 is over. Inshallah, till these chapters you have midterm. So from chapter number 16 to chapter 21 is included for the midterm exam. Understand? Clear? Doctor, I have a question about the homework. Yes, ask your question now. Uh, I wasn't uh, available uh, at the beginning of the, when you were talking about the homework, but uh, can you just explain it briefly? Uh, is this Faraz? What's your name? No, Muhammad Akram. Muhammad, the one we are in the specs, you are in my lab class, am I right? Correct. Ah, yeah, I know. I don't know your name, but I, I recognize your voice. Okay. Now, my dear, listen carefully. I prepared the question of your assignment from chapter number 16 to 21. So 20. Only five chapters I consider. Okay? Clear? Clear, yes, doctor. Yes, clearly. each chapter each I plan because yesterday I prepared the question I, I prepared bulk of uh, some uh, uh, maybe I think 15 questions yesterday I prepared out of this 15 question maybe I am going to choose five questions that means one question from each chapter okay okay but what Clear? about the dead what about the deadline I said one week if I upload the question paper by today night Inshallah, you have to submit the paper next week, Sunday. Okay. Clear? My dear, I gave one week, seven days. Seven days for five easiest problem. Understand? Doctor, when, we, uh, when you will upload, upload it? Inshallah, today night, my dear. Yesterday night only I prepared. Inshallah, today night I will frame everything in the paper format. Inshallah, I will upload the paper by today night. Inshallah. Inshallah. Clear? Clear, my dear? My dear, yes, listen sir. carefully. I think this chapter is one of the important chapter. And if you got any question from this chapter, please, my dear, chapter number 20 and 21 are dead easiest chapter. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Uh, no response. No response. Eh? What, what, okay, whatever it may be. Yes, yes, whatever no, it may be. 
Uh, okay, whatever it may be. Anyhow, my dear, only two weeks is left this week and next week for your midterm exam. I wish you all the best. Please, uh, from now onwards, please take preparation for your midterm exam. Inshallah, today we have the meeting regarding the midterm exam preparation. And if any decision is taken place regarding this midterm exam, Inshallah, I will let you know tomorrow. Clear? Clear, my dear? Yes. Okay. Clear, doctor. Yes, my dear, Mr. Khalid. Khalid Ali Asri. What's your uh, question? Hi, doctor. Yes. Uh, I have a problem with uh, my uh, last experiment. And, uh, I know, I know. You got some 8.5 or 7.5 something. Am I right? Uh, no, you didn't tell me. Uh, because that I asked you. Uh, I think this week we have the lab. Am I right, my dear? Yeah, yeah. Inshallah, come to the lab. We will discuss. Okay, thank you. Don't worry. Don't worry, my dear. Still, we are not graded. I graded some of the paper. Still, I hold some paper. Inshallah, yeah. I will discuss during the lab time. Okay. Because I don't, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I send it in the blackboard, but, uh, but I don't know. Mm. Okay, no issue. Inshallah, we will discuss in the. Yeah, yeah. In the lab class. Yeah. My dear, I don't know how many questions we are going to give for the midterm exam. That's what today we have the meeting exactly by two o'clock. Do you get my point, Mr. Abdullah? Do you hear me? Uh, the okay. Okay, my dear. I uh, inshallah tomorrow we have one period. If any decision Hello. takes. Uh, no, listen, my dear, first of all, please, first of all, please listen me. Actually, today we have meeting by two o'clock. If any decision is taken regarding your midterm exam, because it's an online mode, am I right? So we will discuss some issue. If any information uh, taken place in this meeting, I will let you know tomorrow. Okay? Maybe regarding the backtracking, regarding how many questions. So we will discuss today. I will let you know by tomorrow. Okay? Uh, uh, Dick, sir. Yes. Uh, just one last question. Uh, if I yes, have uh, some uh, questions about my mark and okay, doctor. Experiment, my I dear, listen, my dear, listen, my dear. Own... If you have any issue in the lab marks, better yeah. we can discuss during our lab time. Okay, my dear. It's okay. good for you and me. I can tell you where you made a mistake. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Clear. I will yes, tell you uh, where you made a mistake. Okay, doctor. Uh, okay. Doctor. Uh, uh, Last, uh, I can't hear you very well. Uh, how many chapter you said? From chapter 16 to About 21. About midterm? Until what? Chapter 16 to, chapter 16 to 21. Hello, doctor. 16 to what? 21. 20? Um, wait, wait, wait. I will type. I will type. Wait, wait. I will type, okay? Okay. Do you get my message? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Thank you, Doctor. Clear. 16, 17, uh, 18, doctor. 19, 20, 21. Clear? Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, my dear. Clear. Inshallah, tomorrow tomorrow we have 8th period. By the time we can discuss. If you have any doubts, if you have any questions, please send me through voice mail, voice message. I will respond to your question because today I cannot be able to sit for the discussion class because of the uh, group meeting. Understand? So if you have any uh, doubts regarding the question, please send me through WhatsApp. Doctor? Yes, my dear. I have a question, question five. Question five of this chapter? Yes. This chapter? Yes, doctor. Okay, okay, no problem. I can tell you. Which which one? Uh, question five. Why we but uh, y equals zero? Ah, okay, okay. Where we exactly make the charge, my dear? We make the charge exactly in the x-axis, am I right? Yes. If any charge is sitting exactly on the x-axis, what is your y-coordinate, my dear? Uh, zero, right. Yeah, that's what we put zero. That's it. Clear? Okay. Clear, doctor. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, my dear. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa wa See you, doctor. My dear, my dear, I'm extremely sorry for the connection issue. 
it's not from my side maybe uh, i don't know whether it is from your side or my side i have no idea inshallah i don't know okay so if you have any issue please contact me and if you are in my lab class if you have any doubts please come and discuss during our lab class okay understand sure thing <laughs> doctor sure thing thank you okay okay my dear. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much assalamu yes assalamu assalamu